Werewolf Magic by Denny Sargent, Authentic Practical Mensothropy. Hopefully I said that right. So you get um, some decent um, chapters, categories. Um, you get some exercises, rituals, spells, and um, notes, pages, and rights. Sorry. Um, you get list of photos and figures. So. Um, nine chapters in total with the conclusion and an appendix of um, a theoretical reconstruction of a uh, medieval full transfer shape-shifting ritual so that for some who want to have a look at that <laughs> could find it and just have a look at that um, but yeah um, like to me like even though I don't have a connection to werewolves um, there are people out there that do, so this can be a really great book to have in your um, collection on your shelf. Um, so, like, it goes through like a bit of history of werewolf, werewolf cults um, across the cultures, um, the term werewolf, um, the reality of transforming into said werewolf. Um, werewolf magical terms used um, in the book um, tools so like um, wolf bones altar ritual journal herbs etc um, growls and their meanings um, and like in the bibliography you get books websites and ebooks so you do get a bit of very variation of um, where you want to get your information from um, So like how to use this book, um, the author says, I strongly suggest that you read the chapters in this book in order. Think of it as a long tutorial or a class you're taking on becoming a werewolf. Each chapter in sequence prepares you for the next. If you skip around the, the book, you will be missing both the experiences and the information needed for successful shape-shifting later on. So like history and lore, the beginning, um, the term werewolf, um, types of werewolf magic work, so practices and exercises, um, rituals, rites, and spells, um, so will werewolfish trees so like oak cedar um red is best mountain ash rowan fir a few others um so like crystals would be obsidian moonstone granite and a few others um so and then you get like the symbols so um what it looks like and um what it's used for so there's like different types of growls so a common growl rumble agitated low growl high growl um howls and then like blessing ritual for werewolf, werewolf magic talisman and tools so a bit of introduction and like um to set up items needed and then the ritual um So, yeah, um, you get a few different things um, across this book. So, um, if you are somebody who does have a connection with werewolves, I would um, suggest having some sort of look at this book, um, whether you get something out of it or not. But I think people can get a um, can get some information out of it. Um, or it's at least a, a good starting point. So yeah, werewolf magic, happy readings.